Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, this is the first time I've spoken yet today and I'm sick and just hearing my voice was just like surprising honestly. Hurricane coming. It's a big mess right now. Anyway, I have literally nothing exciting going on today other than the fact that I have to go to Publix and get gas and do all the hurricane prep stuff that I probably should have done like a couple days ago. But to be fair, I did go to Publix the other day and um, I couldn't even find a spot in the parking lot so I had to park like a mile away. There wasn't a cart when I got inside the store so I had to carry around a thing of water bottles around my little noodle arms and I already ate all my hurricane snacks that I bought so I have to go back to Publix and get more. My friend gave me an idea to make a vlog about the hurricane and how I'm prepping and then just like I don't know whatever I end up doing when the hurricane actually hits which I don't even know how bad it's gonna be here in Orlando so I guess we'll see because I am not prepared in the slightest and I don't think anybody really is so I thought it'd be hilarious to get on camera. I'm just really really hoping that the power doesn't go out because I don't know what I would do with myself. I've been charging all of my like fuel rods and my laptops and every laptop so I have more than one but yeah I've been charging everything I have to go like get more food and stuff now because People are like starting to scare me. Like us Floridian people, which I don't even know if I consider myself Floridian because I am from New York, but I've been here for enough years where I don't feel like scared. I'm just like floating along and I'm about to actually be floating along like physically in the rain that this hurricane's about to produce over here. All right, so over the next couple of days, I will be taking you guys along my uh, little journey of Hurricane Dorian, which is a really stupid name, I gotta say. I don't know who came up with that, but he seems like an angry guy and he's coming hot right now. So apparently it's like a category four, I guess, but I don't know exactly what it's gonna be here when it hits Orlando. But I guess we are all going to find out together as I vlog my mess of a life over the next couple of days. <laughs> all right, I'm kind of shook because I have been seeing so many people's Snapchats of this gas station having such long lines the past couple of days, but like there's spots here. So we love that, which means there's still gas. Next stop for Hurricane Necessities is Starbucks Rice Pumpkin Spice Latte. Woohoo! All of a sudden this video becomes like how a Visco girl would try to survive the hurricane. She's got all of her scrunchies and her water bottle. What else do they do? Oh, I don't have a shell necklace, but I'm about to have a pumpkin spice latte. Does that count for something? That's basic. I'm actually not a big coffee drinker. It makes me feel awful, but I've heard a lot of good things about the pumpkin cold brew. But like, my throat hurts, so I kind of want a hot one, but it's 93 degrees out, so we, we just can't have that. Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> One eternity later. Okay. Can I do a pumpkin spice latte? What size? Um, the medium size. I can never remember medium. which one is which, yeah. <laughs> it really, really just cannot get more basic than that, folks, honestly. All right, we got the goods. Now I can survive the hurricane. Well, I don't know if I'd call this hurricane prep, but at least I'm like prepped for the day now. We got all this pumpkin spice goodies from Starbucks. I've actually never had a cold one. All right. Is this it? Is this a hurricane? Is it coming? Honestly, like, will we even be able to like tell when the hurricane comes? Cause it really, really hurricanes like every day here. The roads around my house, especially, oh my God, and in the parks too, flood horribly after like an hour of rain. So I cannot even imagine what it's gonna be like. I wonder if Disney's gonna close too. That'd be crazy. Also, imagine being there on the day of the hurricane if it doesn't close. Should I go there and vlog and just see what happens? The next day. All right, third trip to Publix in the last 48 hours. Actually, carts today. Looks like I'm too late on the batteries. They have water today. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You need that. They're gonna have their red and white cough drops and those are the only ones that taste good, so I'd rather suck her. That's it, I'm done in here. I'm going to Taco Bell, I'm over it. I'll do a number 10 with a Baja Blast. 
I wasn't joking, y'all. Hurricane prep is hard. I gave up. I hate grocery shopping. So I'm going to get a week supply of Taco Bell. The next day. Hi, I'm stressed, which is why I'm putting on this face mask right now because I need to relax. Does this face mask make me look like the moon emoji? I'm going to do a side by side here. <laughs> I look ridiculous. <laughs> Is it gonna bother you guys if I talk to you like this on the camera, like with this face mask on? If it is, I'm so sorry, but I'm gonna do it anyway. It is Monday now, which means the storm should be expected to come overnight tonight. Um, it's gonna start raining at like 2 today. It's like noon now, and it's not gonna stop until the hurricane has passed. And the winds are expected to be like really, really, really bad tonight, starting around like 9, I think. And it says... I don't know, every single weather thing says something different. So, we'll see what happens, I'm not sure. The cone is supposed to keep shifting the other way, but it's still headed towards us right now. It's currently moving at one mile an hour, which is crazy. It has destroyed the Bahamas. So things are just like not going as expected right now, and it could totally come and destroy Florida. Honestly, so I'm sitting here with my face mask on trying to decide if I should leave Orlando or not But is this enough water for me and Anna to survive? That is the real question. Oh wait, I forgot we have more over here I'll give you guys one last look of Florida before it, it blows away ready. Wow Look how beautiful it is out and if the winds are as crazy as they're expected to be here We should probably bring all these things inside honestly. Thank God I thought of this because this chair very well could have gotten picked up by the wind and went and crashed into a car or something like uh oh we can't have that especially because my car's sitting right over there mm -mm. all right folks here's the last supper until the power goes out probably from the storm it is 3 29 on monday and uh, we're about to eat some tortellini and while the tortellini cooks i'm going to keep eating my hurricane snacks that i'm supposed to be saving for tomorrow <laughs> The next day. She getting windy. Hello everybody, welcome to Tuesday. As you can see, I got my voice back. My cold only lasts like two seconds, which is great because I don't have time for that. And the hurricane's still not here. But the good part is I guess the cone has finally shifted the other way. God, I don't know directions. So basically it's not headed towards us directly anymore. We're just sitting at like the outskirts of rain because it's actually traveling like on the borderline of Florida up north. I don't know. I am no weather man. All I know is it's not coming for us anymore, so that is a huge relief, although it is ruining my content, I must say. So Disney World has closed early today. Um, most of the parks closed at 2 or 3 o'clock. I guess they extended Epcot's hours till 7. I don't know why. And also Disney Springs is open till 7 as well, as of right now. But it is getting a little bad. Um, it hasn't rained yet, but it is getting pretty windy. I heard it's not going to actually hit us until tonight, like in the middle of the night. So one, that's scary because I'm going to be sleeping when this the thing comes through. And two, did Disney really need to close early? I don't know. But I mean, that's great for the cast members because they have time to go home and sit and prepare, I guess. But for the people that use their, like, tickets to get into the park today like I know people did for a fact they are probably so so mad and probably didn't even know that the park closed early so I'm sure there's a whole long line of guest relations right now but anyway it's 3 30 right now I'm about to go like I don't know start my day I guess and get something to eat because I don't want to keep eating my hurricane snacks just in case something happens and the power goes out and I don't have appliances to cook food and I have to eat those snacks then. So I'm just gonna go somewhere across the street, I guess like McDonald's or probably Taco Bell again. So yeah, here we go. <laughs> How dare I forget about the almighty Wendy's across the street. That's where we're going. Four for fours, baby. We saving that money. Back secured, boys. Okay, Dorian is here, everybody. <laughs> oh good, you can't see anything. These two idiots in Nashville give me all my weather updates. I'm not even checking the weather. <laughs> These are the two that are enlightening me about everything that's going on. The next day. Hello, update. It is now Wednesday and it's a little windy today, but that's really it. There was actually no hurricane. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you guys what Magic Kingdom looks like right now because it is very, very, very dead. And we had a great day here. I just had a lot of things to do and a lot of outfits to wear, so I didn't vlog a lot. But this is what Main Street looks like right now. 
she dead. Literally dead. So basically what I'm saying is Hurricane Dorian was basically a hoax. It was fake. <laughs> it didn't actually happen. Well, thank God the hurricane didn't actually happen because as you guys have seen, I was not prepared in the slightest. Um, so that is basically it. Thank you guys for watching my mess of a life. Kyle, you got anything to say? Peace. Oh, he knows, all right. Peace. Even if the sun goes down on me.